Hello there everybody, Basil here from Technotalk, and I'm actually coming at you with not a Java tutorial, but this time a uh, an After Effects tutorial. Woo! Everybody cheer. And in other news, I'm actually recording this in 1080p, which is going to look hopefully much clearer and crisper. Uh, I just burped silently. Anyway, so I'm really excited about getting, I got um, the entire Adobe CS5, not, not Master Collection, I got Production Premium. So, uh, you see, these are the programs that came with it. Um, and then, yeah, so, I want to do a basic tutorial series, but um, that takes kind of a lot of work, because After Effects is something that takes a while to learn. Um, so, I'll probably do that eventually, but this tutorial, and probably some more after it, are going to be just, you know, strictly having something and trying to create it, and just walking you through how to do it. So, I will explain some basic things, but for the most part, I mean, if you're an absolute completely 100% new beginner, you've never used After Effects before, this tutorial may not be very helpful. Anyway, so in this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making it snow. And we're going to be making it snow in Sugarland, Texas, which is actually right outside of Houston, so you know that it's not really snowing. And here, if you just watch um, the shot, you can see snow and them playing around. Um, so these are some people just messing around in the snow. Um, and one thing about this scene is that if I go ahead and show you what it looked like originally, this was the shot originally. So this is, you know, raw off the camera. Um, just them running around, and the snowballs is actually crumpled up pieces of paper. That was a nice touch. Um, and so yeah, but you turn on everything, and there you go. You got a snowy scene. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our footage, and we're going to just create a new composition. So now we have this new composition. And it just has the footage, the, the blank bare footage of these people running around messing in the snow. Well, it will be the snow. Um, this is a bit laggy, by the way, guys. It's not rendering very fast because, uh, what's it called? Because I'm running, I show you in 1080p. So it's taking up a bit of RAM, but whatever. Alright, so... When you're looking at this um, scene, there's really two things that are being hap that are happening here. The first thing is you see, um, where is it? Is you see the actual falling snow, the the snow that's just falling from the sky. You know, not quite a blizzard, not quite soft snow. It's just you know a good amount of snow falling. And then the second thing is all the snow that's on the ground here that has been piling up as the snow falls. Oh, another silent burp there. Okay, so the, what we're going to be looking at are, um, is a really simple way of doing this. The first thing we're going to do is create this falling snow. So we're actually going to use probably one of my favorite effects in After Effects. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Layer, New, Solid. Go ahead and make it white and call it Snow. Make comp size, doesn't really matter. And then go to Effect, Generate. I mean not Generate, just kidding. Simulation. CC Particle World. This is one of my favorite effects, and um, I'm gonna go over some basics just in case you don't know anything about this effect. Basically, if this, if I scrub through here a bit, you can see that it's kind of just like a fountain of of um, particles being emitted from the center point. And you can do there's a lot of settings settings that you can mess with in this um, effect to make it do different things. So the first thing is we're gonna go ahead and go over here and shut the grid off. And then you see there's three um categories under the uh, effect here, producer, physics, and particle. And these are the three that you're really going to be messing with a lot. And also the longevity and the birth rate, but you don't need to bring up those lists. So go ahead and open up the producer, the physics, and the particle. So let's start with the particle. As you see right now, the particle type is a line. And, you know, it looks pretty cool for maybe like a spark effect, or maybe if you were trying to create rain. But we're looking for snow. We want something that looks like a snowflake. So go from line and just try to switch it to something and keep testing them out until it works. The thing that I found that works that works the best and that's probably going to be your best bet is the faded sphere. Because after um, a little work you can see that it's kind of like um, these blurred out circles. So it looks like the, it's soft like snow and, and they're slightly opaque as well. So that's why I like them. Um, we're going to go to the birth color and death color here and just turn them both to white because snow is white. So right now what we have is we have kind of like a little speck of um, snow being ejected out of this point. Now one thing we may want to do 
Uh, physics is something that you'd probably want to, is something that you're usually messing around with a lot with this effect because you can change, you can mess with the gravity and the velocity and all this other stuff to make it do cool different things. But um, in this specific example, because we want the gravity to be effective because it's snow falling down and because we want it to be moving, the velocity is going to be the same, we really aren't going to mess with the physics that much. I mean, we could to try to perfect some stuff, but it's really not necessary. Instead, we're going to go to the producer here, and you see where it has radius x, radius y, radius z. Go ahead and grab radius x and just stretch out on the x-axis a bit. Then take radius y and do the same. And then here's the cool part. Take the z-axis and do the same. So you see you're kind of pushing the back in, in uh, z-space. So that just kind of makes it look kind of cool. And uh, this is like sprinkling snow here, but we want a little more. So we're going to go to the birth rate and just turn it up, like way up. And then maybe turn up the longevity a bit as well. Maybe more birth rate. So we're getting a nice little effect of snow falling here. I want more birth rate, you know. I want to have a lot of snow falling. There, here we go. So now you see that just in a few simple steps, we've created a, a basic version of snow. You could obviously make this look a lot better, but it looks good enough. And the whole messing with the Z-space um, actually makes it look like the snow is falling inside of the scene rather than on top of it, which is nice. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to be creating this snow on the ground effect. Now, the thing about this, that, about this uh, illusion, oh, by the way, we might want to offset this a little bit so that it starts with the snow falling. It doesn't just randomly come out of nowhere. Um, in order to do this, you may see some people tell you that, you know, there's a bunch of complicated techniques you can do with the alpha mat and all this stuff to try to get to put um, some white snow textured material on top of the ground. But really, there's a very simple way that maybe isn't the most eff eff uh, effective way, but it, is certain, it certainly does work for this example, and it'll probably work for most basic examples as well. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our effects and presets and type in key light. Key light 1.2. This is a keying um, effect where it'll, like, if you don't know what that is, like, you know, green screen effects, things they use in movies. This is basically the same thing where you choose a color and eliminate it. So go ahead and grab it and bring it out, not on top of our snow. Make sure you put it on top of your clip. And then when it, it asks you to select the screen color, Take the selection tool and just find a little piece of grass that is common and click the grass. Now you're probably thinking, whoa, 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 what just happened? Well, basically what Keylight did is it took all the different shades of green um, and a certain ratio of shades um, therein and eliminated it. So basically it took them out of the comp. If we turn on the opacity here, you'll see that they're no longer there. Um, it has made them opaque which should reveal the layer below it. Now the reason we're getting all this blackness here is because there is no layer below it. We never made a background layer. So that's why it's all black because the default is black. Well all we need to do to fix that is create a new solid and have it white and just call it background and then bring that behind, I mean underneath, our footage. And you see there that that worked quite nicely. And I think it worked a little better in this example but you can see that the snow is kind of piled on. And of course, you could mess with this a bit. You may want to go and, uh, uh, what am I doing here? Take the selection tool and pick another color that's common. Uh, not that color, just kidding. Um, and just mess around with it a bit until you get it right. I think this is fine. Fine. There doesn't need to be that much snow on the ground. And, and, and either way, we can make it look better later. So, already we're creating a pretty cool looking effect here. Um, now, I want to go more in depth, but I don't want to go too far in, in time. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the final part of this tutorial, which is the fact that this doesn't really look that nice simply because the coloring isn't very good. You know, it doesn't look like a winter's day with the sun gleaming back here and all this, the coloring. So we're just going to create a new adjustment layer and go to Effect, Color Correction, Curves. And then just grab the RGB channel and just brighten it up a bit. Because snow is quite bright, especially if it's a sunny day, as suggested here. And then we might also want to go to the blue channel and turn that up. And go to the red channel and turn that down. And then maybe even go to the green channel and raise it just a touch. So this way we're creating this bluish green um, adjustment to the clip that if you see, whoa, that was weird, that if you see without it, 
it doesn't really blend well with the colors, but with it, it actually doesn't. It actually doesn't look that bad, and it's kind of convincing that this could be actual snowy day. So yeah, that's pretty much all. As you see here, we have created our snowy scene, and of course, um, there's a lot more detail you could go into. But this is just a really quick and easy way that I discovered how you could do it. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure this is gonna conclude the tutorial. Make sure you keep watch you keep watching, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because there's gonna be more After Effects tutorials coming your way, as well as a, the continuation of my Java tutorial series, and hopefully many more other tutorials to come. Again, thanks for watching. This has been Basil from Techno Talk. See you.